Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini tutorial session here in Procreate. For today's video we're going to take a look at the updated version of the Neon Sign tutorial that I had made back in Procreate 5. Now in Procreate 5 Axe it's actually much easier to achieve the same look and feel for these neon type effects. Also just a quick reminder that if you'd like to download the actual Procreate files, brushes and colors used here in this video together with an extended step-by-step -step version of this tutorial, a 20 plus custom brush pack with some of my go-to brushes, my favorite color palettes and more. Don't forget to check my Patreon page, which is in the link in the description box of this video. So now let's get started. We're going to be creating a landscape screen size canvas on Procreate, which on my iPad is 2732 by 2048 pixels at 300 dpi and an sRGB color space. Right from the start, let's head up to the Actions menu on the Canvas subsection and let's turn on Drawing Guide. Now let's tap on Edit Drawing Guide and set the cell size to something about 250 pixels. This gives us enough space between the cells and the grid while helping us to center our elements on stage. For the colors, we're going to be using these colors right here on the screen so if you'd like to copy them, please pause the video at this point and take a screenshot of this frame. Now let's go back into the Actions menu, but now let's tap on Add and then tap on Add Text. Let's tap on the Caps Lock here on the keyboard and type the word Neon. Next, double tap on the word in order to select everything while at the same time bringing the Floating Font Selection panel. For the font, we're going to be using Futura Bold. We're also going to be creating two versions of our text layer. The first one is going to be an outline version of the font, so make sure to tap on the outline attribute over here on the bottom right section of the UI, as well as making sure that the option to capitalize all letters is also turned on. So after repositioning our text at the center of the screen, let's head back into the layers panel and tap on our text layer. Slide the layer to the left and tap on duplicate. Next, tap on our new layer and then tap on Edit Text. This time, turn off the Outline Only mode, creating a color-filled version of the same neon word. Back in the Layers panel, let's duplicate both text layers. Turn off the visibility of the first filled and outline version of the type and move them to the bottom of the layers list. These are going to be the original copies of your type layers. Now tap on each new duplicate of your text, then tap on Rasterize. Now let's select this medium gray value from our color palette, then type on the first Rasterize text layer, then tap Select, then tap again on the same layer and tap Fill with Color. Repeat these steps for the other visible text layer as well. Finally, pick the darkest color from our color palette, create a new layer that sits at the bottom of everything and color drop that darker shade onto the background. The darker background will help you create a more convincing effect as you work on this file with the new letters. Next, let's create a new layer and using a monoline or studio pen brush and the green color from the color palette, let's draw some medium thickness lines on the inside areas of each letter. Make sure to not fully connect these lines as neon lights many times are also made in this fashion, having a little gap between each light tube. Another good example here is the O letter. Make sure to leave a gap just before you complete the full circle. Once finished, make a copy of this layer, turn off its visibility, and save it as well as a backup source. We now have all of the components to create this effect. First, let's select the neon green layer and head up to the adjustments menu. Let's apply a bloom effect as a full layer following the settings that you see here on the screen. For the percentage of bloom, let's add somewhere around 40%. Next, let's make another duplicate of our source green layer and add bloom effect once again to this copy, but this time, let's add somewhere around 55%. On the first bloom layer, let's set the blending mode to screen. On the second bloom layer, the one that you added around 55% for the bloom effect, Let's set the blending mode to color dodge. This gives a really nice burn effect to the neon lights. Next, let's add an image of a brick wall that I found on Unsplash as the background layer for the scene. 
If you are using the same image, let's head up to the Adjustments menu and apply some hue and saturation as a full layer effect once again, taking out all of the saturation and leaving the brightness to about 25%. Next, let's make a copy of the filled version of our Neon Word, tap on the layer, hit Select, then tap on the layer again and select Fill Layer, filling up this layer with a green color. Next, let's head up once again to the Adjustments menu and apply a generous amount of Gaussian Blur to this new layer, creating what it will feel like the neon lights are now hitting the center of the brick wall. Lastly, create a new layer on top of your gray frame layer, set it as a clipping mask in the blending mode to screen, and using the white color swatch, draw some angle lines at some corners of the letters. Finish up by applying some Gaussian Blur and taking down the opacity of that layer to somewhere around 50 to 60%. As a finishing touch, if you do decide to take your exercise file a little bit further here, you can create a couple more layers. One is a screen blending mode and the other one is an overlay blending mode. And play with other colors coming from the corners of the frame, adding a few more hues to the overall green scene. For that, for example, make sure to use a soft brush for painting those effects at the corners. On the overlay blending mode layer, you can paint something in pink, for example, at the top right section of the frame. For the screen mode layer, you can perhaps try something in blue at the lower left section. Feel free to play with the opacity of these layers as well in order to achieve the desired effect. And that's it. You have just created your neon light typography illustration entirely done in Procreate. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did a like, it would be super appreciated. As well as make sure to hit the subscribe button for all the tutorials, tips and tricks, reviews, and everything to make you a better digital illustrator every day. Now on the right side of the screen, there's always more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload, and the other one is a video that YouTube is recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.